Yes, people, FJTV. <clears throat> so, you can already see by the title, I'm on purpose to try and keep this one short and sweet. I know that I say that from the start of most of my videos that are this sort of long form format. But obviously, I've got training a bit, so I don't want to drag this one on because I know it's going to take a while to upload then. But, like in the title, end of January, first month, obviously, first of 12 of 2024, today being the 31st of January. So, after today, all done, first month gone, ticked off. And my thought process for the video is simply just saying and putting the message out there like I always do, obviously, make sure you're staying on top of your goals. Any little things like boxes that you're trying to tick, staying consistent with it, anything that you've left unticked, if you like, using that analogy or phrase, whatever, reminding yourself that you're not going to procrastinate, you're not going to slack off. Anytime you catch yourself, I'm guilty of it, brother, when I'm on Instagram, if I start scrolling, and then I mentally sort of catch myself like, brother, what are you doing? You know, can't be doing this shit, yeah. Can't be wasting time, brother. There's a million and one things i got going on in my life that I can be doing. Being constructive. At the bare minimum, brother, and I said it before and I'll say it again, no matter the time of day, bro, if you really are thinking in the sense of killing time, maybe you got work in a bit, maybe you got a gym session at a certain time, maybe you're shit, man, I don't know, waiting for food to cook or something, bro, and you got that five, ten minutes, but even if you just do some conscious breaths and refocus your mind rather than doom scrolling, like I said, not to be a hypocrite, bro, because I'm guilty of it myself, yeah. Putting that to one side, same way for me personally this month, obviously, uh, yeah, I'll go with this train of thought, I delayed my caffeine detox, same way, I've got an energy drink open right now, it's been sort of my open addiction that I've admitted to, uh, since 2022 really saying like bro it's uh, it's just every now and then i try and do the caffeine detoxes i know that i've more than capable of mentally putting myself through any sort of gym session or whether i'm fasted or otherwise but it's like it's just a mental thing more than anything but cool i delayed that so i said to myself you know what february we're gonna you know hit the i don't even know what phrase i was thinking to say then fuck it yeah we're just gonna go for it in February, I'm gonna try and introduce a fast at some point, but I know how my own brain works. I won't wanna just half-heart it. It's like after doing the the 48 hour challenge one and I got to like 52, 53 hours, July I think that was last year. And the next one is obviously 72 hours, which is obviously like three days as you know. And like I said, bro, I know I'm more than capable of because as I always say, on the deepest level, bruv, and none of this is real, we're in a magic simulation, you can do anything the fuck you want to do, this is just an avatar, a skin suit, like I'm wearing this jacket, like I'm wearing this t-shirt, same what a mortal soul is wearing this skin suit, with the ego identity, you get me, and I'm just mentally projecting outwards, my reality, whatever, part of an overall collective, within a construct, you get me, yeah, and as I always say on my channel, use that knowledge, use that information, that's not me just speaking at the camera, that's not me just throwing information or words at you, yeah, and just saying it for the sake of saying it, you know, talking but not saying anything, like I say, using that knowledge to, okay, none of the negative shit can hurt me, I can put that to one side, anytime, like I said, you catch yourself on the internet or whatever, seeing some nonsense, you, shut up bro, control or delete, people just talking heads, every man and his dog's got a blood clot podcast these days, bro, chatting absolute nonsense, yeah, half the time, and again, no shade, no judgement, as much as I am kind of judging by saying that, but do you know what I mean, it's like, you know when you see something, you think, I don't want to see this, bro, but because of the way this technology and social media and that works, it's just in front of your face sometimes, I was going to say without your control, we do have control, but again, not to get on a tangent, that's four minutes gone, like I said, I'm going to try and wrap this up by ten minutes, as I said, bro, take the good with the bad, I said it with my end of 2023 video, same as what I'm saying for this one, but for me personally, again, same way, I cut my hair quite short, I shaved my beard off, because again, it was almost symbolic of, like I've said to myself, going back into like monk mode, new year, even though, okay, the way it technically works, technically it's not 2024 yet, but again, aside from that, on a human level, just going off base level calendar, same way I said, oh, I feel a burp coming, excuse me, in advance, excuse me, same way I said in my video, I think a couple of months ago when I'm saying, it's almost like football seasons. Again, whether you, because obviously I'm saying football is in football, not soccer for my American friends. But like I'm saying, it's almost like the football seasons, bruv. How it's like each one I can look at, I can look at every year as individual years, but I can almost look at the way they coincide with the football season. Where it's like 
from summertime into autumn and winter until, you know, into the spring of one the following year. And that was like this, then it felt like that next season was like downhill and then more. And then as I said, I'm trying to rectify all the bullshit again, halfway through, putting all that to one side. I said in my video yesterday, but with everything coming full circle in my life, and like I said, always been able to look back and laugh, knowing that, like I said, on the deepest level, it's not real, but it's part of my journey, hence fitness journeys, hence FJTV, fitness journeys TV, yeah. Fitness journeys, my PT and online coaching fitness brand. And as I said, just life in general, this weird experience that I'm going through from the POV as Josh, whatever, in this specific avatar. It's all just part of my journey that just serves my soul's evolution, growth, learning, knowledge, wisdom, all of that good stuff, yeah. So like I said, for this month, again, a positive thing, like I said, with, you know, shaving. So I look young. Obviously, I looked a bit more young when I was clean shaven. Same like I said, in April this year, I'll be 27 years old, bro, which was mad to say, and I feel fucking old. And the same when I started the channel, and I just turned 25, bro, and I'm like, bro, five years and I'm 30, bro. And obviously, like I said, soon be 27. It's been three years, I'm 30, bro, yeah. As much as, like I said, I felt like I slipped a little bit further away from where I was trying to go, but ultimately, thought it is, you know. Everything in my life comes full circle, and... As I said, it's about the journey. And ultimately, like I said, this month, restarting the Muay Thai. I know I've spoke about it a little bit on the channel. I don't want to keep banging on about it unless I've got something specific to say. But to me, it was just funny. It was like, of course, this is how it would go, bro. Yeah, of course, I'd end up living further away from somewhere where I now go to train. And I used to live up the road and I was already going there before, but then I stopped and now I'm going to get... Do you know what I mean, bro? It's just the way this life shit works. Not even on the deep spiritual level bringing it back to the deeper spiritual level same like I said with the meditation and the breath work and doing your practices all goes hand in hand and I see the synchronicities and I kind of touched on it yesterday and when I was chopping up the shorts from previous videos and I mentioned it in another video and I'm saying about like this my sort of projection of Highlander as in like I said Odin's my in this lifetime at least or in this bloodline specifically from this vessel this Scottish Highlander ancestry, yeah, and that true warrior blood within, and it was, again, because I see the synchronicities every single fucking day, and the little mental checks of like, of course, yep, I knew I was going to see that, or of course, that's just confirming what I've already said, or what I've been saying, or what I've said on a video, or what I thought I had, and then I see it in reality, reality, and again, when I shout out the YouTube channel RKX and Jason, Jason Brashears, I've already shouted him out before, but just quickly, someone that, again, I was put onto from Mr. Traumatic, the drum and bass slash grime rapper, artist, whatever you want to call him, musician. And again, just little, like, connect the dots sort of thing, one person leading to another person who's, I'm not just, you know, sitting cross-legged like a child saying, oh, this person, give me all their information, and I'm just going to go along with it without any sort of real reflection. Now, bro, it's seeing someone, hearing what they've got to say, like I say, digesting it in my brain and going, oh, okay, that's clicking in here or that's resonating for a reason or something I've thought or said in the past, this person's saying it but maybe articulating it in a better way, which is all I'm trying to do at times with these channels. Uh, Apologise, I keep switching hands, yeah. Like I'm saying with him, I had one of his podcasts on sort of yesterday slash this morning into the early hours. In between sort of doing the meditation and the breath work, just to have something on in the background while I was doing other things as well. I'm only touched on, just randomly the run about Hadrian's Wall in Scotland, obviously quickly for people that don't know, maybe if you're outside of the UK, the sort of, not the current border, but what would have been a border back in the day, a sort of broken down wall, Hadrian's Wall, I'm pretty sure named after the Roman general Hadrian, wherever his actual name was, from the Romans, imagine that, building a wall to keep them motherfuckers out, not even like they're building a wall to keep us out from attacking. It's like, no, 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 we're trying to invade there, but you know what, lads? We don't want it, or they're too good, or whatever, whatever. We're going to build this wall and say, you know what? Keep them barbarians away from us. And he was when he was talking about the Picts, which even then, that's not even what these entities called themselves. That's the Roman name for it, Pict, coming from the word Picti, meaning painted or painted ones, where, again, the Romans described these tribe or tribes of... Scottish, what would be obviously classed as Scotland these days, 
natives that are painting themselves blue half the time going to battle naked with weapons, hair all long and crazy, big beards. It just resonates that not only is that, like I said, through my dad's side of the family, I'm connected to with Scottish lineage where of ancestry. Again, in this lifetime, so it's I'm an immortal soul, but I can still see the synchronicities and go, okay, how does that connect and reflect into this lifetime? And then when I embody certain principles, I, there shouldn't be anyone on this side of the house, but I can hear it almost like it's next door. But anyway, and when I'm hearing him talk about that, and I was having a thought as well with, like I said, the Highlander in the video I just made, like I said, now getting back into the Muay Thai. I know I've gone over the 10 minute mark, I'll lock up the video in a minute. But again, it's just another confirmation that I was like, bro, this is what I'm talking about, bro, and this is what I'm saying. It's like, I see the synchronicities, bro. Of course, I would have that true warrior blood deep within my veins. And even if, like I said, I'm not saying let's put myself on a pedestal. I'm not saying let's say, oh, I'm up here. I'm just saying that's almost confirmation bias. But really, again, like I say, see the synchronicities for what they are in this matrix. That, Like I said, it is an illusion. I'm projecting this exterior world out from the internal world. But I'm still here, bruv. And that's what I'm saying with the real red pill. And all of this knowledge, like I said, being an immortal soul. And I'm all about the meditation, bruv. I spoke about it in this one. And the breath work and all of that. And all the spiritual stuff. But you're still here, bro. So when I'm seeing certain people, no matter what topic they're talking about, bro, the second I hear something and I think, not even just I disagree with that, if it goes against one of my fundamentals and I'm like, oh, I'm not meant to listen to this person, of course. Because I always get that feeling sometimes I hear them and I'm like, okay, you're saying about this, okay, let me listen. But I just get that feeling of like, why do I think, almost like I don't trust this person. And then like I said, they'll say something. Same with I've already spoke about with the SR, with the semen retention. Like I said, bro, some of these men that talked about it and then they touch on the spirituality and I think, oh, okay, you're going to bridge that gap. Because some people talk about sin retention and go to religion and, yeah, you need to be praying and back to religion. Okay, bro, do what you want to be doing. But then when I see someone saying, this is an illusion, I'm okay, cool. And then, bro, like I said, they'll end up saying something stupid. And I'll say, okay, that's my opinion, but something stupid, like I saw someone saying about, like, you don't act like masculine energy and with sin retention, it's... No, it shouldn't make you more masculine. You want to blah, blah, blah. They're basically trying to say about pushing that. I'm like, bruv, you meant to, obviously, yeah, transmute the energy. But not to cut that side of yourself off completely, bruv. Because like I said, bruv, lo and behold, you get that. And it's the hordes of whoever. Or like I said, when I talked about the Scottish and the Picti and the Romans. You're on a battlefield, bro. Bruv, and like I said, if you really know the depths, but like I said, this is an illusion. Then, of course, I'm going to fight to the death against these hordes that are going to do whatever, whatever to us or my family back home or to the women and children back home. Yeah, I'll leave the video there, bro, because I've gone over the 10 minute mark what I wanted to stick to. Look away, so man. Stabs on your purpose. You know what you need to be doing? Yeah, like I said, end of January, one month down, bro. We've got another 11 months. And bro, 2024, bro, we're going to again. I feel like 2023, there was a bit of a lull in some of the nonsense you see out there. There was bits here and there, but not the sort of stuff I was kind of expecting. And I ain't going to say too much in this video. But I feel like this is a year where a lot of people, you'll see what's going on, bro. Even if you already feel like, yeah, Josh, I know what you're on about. I, I see through the nonsense and what they are doing and all the other whatever entities going on. And all the entities that are, I'll do the stupidness, please give me some and put and pretend I'm a celebrity. Come on, bro. Like I said, man, we see for the illusion. Like I was saying, stabs down your purpose. One month down, let's go. 11 more months, let's just keep working, keep doing nothing. Time is an illusion, but we're still here, bro. Yeah, so let's go.